Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification game. God Squad. It's what it is, man. Look, check this out. Now, I got to say this because I, I, I saw a couple of little disapproving comments under the video for uh, the video where I made about Anthony Joshua and how I'm not impressed by his training with Ronnie Shields at this particular time. I'm not saying that I'm not impressed with him training with Ronnie Shields at all. I'm just not impressed with what I am seeing from him thus far. Okay. Understand when you are a fighter, no matter what level you want, amateur pro, whatever, when you are going with somebody new, they are going to see everything that you have learned from your previous trainer and or instructor. They're going to take certain tangibles that are useful and keep those. But if something that your previous trainer taught you contradicts what they're going to teach you, that's going to be something they're going to try to do away with. And hopefully by the grace that whatever it is they're trying to do away with, it's not so physically ingrained in you to where it's going to be really hard for you to cut that habit. Because it's all, all it is, is you generating habits. That's it. Do you have a habit of dropping your hand, your lead hand, your rear hand? Do you have a habit of being too tall? Do you have a habit of throwing wild punches? Do you have a habit of crossing your feet? Do you have a habit of sticking to one particular type of punches? Meaning, are you a headhunter or are you a body puncher? Those are habits that you have to create. Okay? So, AJ has a lot of basic amateur habits that I see. And I'm not training professional fighters on any any level at this point in my life but what i'm able to see from what i know is a lot of the stuff that you see aj do he do not apply it in the proper way in fights he don't a lot of the little irky jerk the little head movement all that stuff he does not apply proper head movement in fights. You know, when you see AJ really use some type of head movement when he's hurt, when he gets hit and clipped and the guy is coming after him, you'll see him slip some punches, break down from some shit. But that's only when he's in trouble. He doesn't exude the slipping and the head movement as much as he does when he's hurt. OK, so he's not a slick fighter. He don't got head movement. Okay? Having head movement when you get clipped don't mean, oh, you got head, you got head movement. Look, he got head. No, he got head movement because he got clipped and he don't want to get caught. Now he's being defensive. He's trying to survive at this point. He's in survival mode. So now he ain't trying to get caught with nothing. Another thing. Whatever you learn, like I said, you have to build the muscle memory to do it without thinking then once you do that you have to have the endurance and the stamina to maintain that for 12 rounds or however duration you need to maintain that level of explosiveness so you could teach aj a new move you could teach aj a new skill in the sport you can teach him some new shit but how is it going to equate to the fight is he going to be able to just perform it like that without even thinking about it or do he got to think about it to set it up is it going to happen natural for him is it from what i can see not right now a lot of y'all be thinking because i say he's not there yet or it's not enough time that he ain't gonna get there what you seeing with AJ is what you getting. There's only so much Ronnie Shields is able to teach him to where he's going to sustain those skills. I'm not telling you that to be on some hating on AJ shit. I'm telling you that because I fucking know. 
I can't teach none of y'all nothing and expect y'all to have it like that. It don't matter if you got previous experience, inboxing, it don't matter. There's no way I could just teach you something or show you something like that and you just get it. There are very few people on this planet that you could show them something maybe once or twice or they could do it once or twice and they got it. They don't even really got to practice it like that. They got it. There's very few people on this planet that's like that. And I know you idol worshiping Anthony Joshua fans want to believe that he's going to be that guy. No. No. There is a lot to unpack with Anthony Joshua. There is a lot to fix and critique with Anthony Joshua. That don't mean Ronnie Shields can't fix it or critique it or make him better. What I'm telling you is in the time that Anthony Joshua is eluded to get better, Ronnie Shields don't have enough time to get him ready skill-wise to be the Alexander Usyk. Because skill-wise, there is a big-ass gap. Because a lot of people, myself included, thought that AJ was going to be too big. He was just going to bully Alexander Usyk and beat the living shit out of him. And guess what the fuck happened? Sure wasn't that. So, what this proves is you need more than size. Size don't spell men. Size don't spell champion. And at that particular point, AJ just had the size. He did not have the skill and or endurance. So what I'm telling you, AJ fanboys, is Anthony Joshua needs a lot more than learning a new skill to beat Alexander Usyk. Because the skill set that he could learn could help him give him an edge. But guess what? When the moment AJ run out of gas, which he will, guess what's going to happen? Alexander Usyk going to turn up or whomever got more gas is going to turn up on AJ. So the biggest issue with Anthony Joshua is not necessarily his skill set. It's gas. He don't got the gas. So all y'all giving me shit about the skill set, this, that, and the third. The main thing that I will be focused on with Anthony, the landlord, Joshua, is his gas tank. You won't be able to do shit if you can't fight for 12 rounds straight. At this particular time, you are just like Deontay Wilder. You are a four to six round fighter. Because when you fight somebody who's going to bring the fight to you, stay in your chest, and is not afraid of your punching output and or power, you are fucked, Anthony. You fucked. Because you don't got the gas. You don't. And if you get hit the right way, you going to be on Wobble Street. Straight up. So, do AJ have the ability to beat Alexander Usyk? Yes. Can he beat Alexander Usyk? Yes. Will he? Highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. Can he? Yes. Will he? Because right now, this is nothing y'all forgetting. Right now, AJ trying to get his skills up to be on par with Usyk. Let me say that again. AJ is trying to get his skills to be on par with Usyk. So, right now, Alexander Usyk is the more skilled fighter of the two. So, what AJ more likely may have to do to win this fight is he's going to have to bully Alexander Usyk. But he's going to have to skillfully bully him. Can't just walk him down and throw, nope, that shit not going to work. Usyk got back to his feet too good for that. He's not going to fall for that shit. So I don't see AJ having the gas. You could put AJ with, with, with Floyd Sr. You could put AJ with with uh, 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 Eddie Ray Noso, since a lot of motherfuckers talking about he should go with Eddie Ray. You could put him with them motherfuckers all day long. If they don't help Anthony Joshua get his endurance up, you're going to see the same shit. 
You could try to give him a new skill all day long, but if he don't got the gas to maintain that, he ain't got it. I don't give a fuck who you are. You need gas. If you ain't got gas, I don't give a fuck how strong you are, how fast you are. I don't give a fuck about none of that. If you don't got the gas, you can't do shit. You can have the skills. If you don't have the gas to maintain that skill set for the duration of the fight, you fucked. So cut the cap. Ronnie Shields ain't really going to do too much. It's just he getting with Ronnie Shields because Tyson Fury got with uh, Sugar Hill. Sugar Hill really didn't change too much. just made Tyson Fury sit on his punches. He did not change or alter too much of Tyson Fury. All he had got Tyson Fury in the habit. Like I said, he didn't change. He created a habit. He got him in the habit of sitting on his punches. Instead of fluttering and flicking and shit. That's it. Fury still fight the same way. The only difference, he sits on his punches. So now I'm waiting to see what new skill set AJ gonna have. But at the end of the day, AJ's biggest problem is, number one, your gas tank. Number two, when you get clipped, you be on Wobble Street. That's been proven. So, real talk, bro, Ronnie Shields can't do shit for your chin, but he can do something for your gas tank. And that's what I think you need to be focused on. As you building your skills up, you should be getting your endurance to top of the top because you a big dude. You got a lot of weight to move around. You got a lot of body to move and shift and all that. So, you need to get in the habit of being able to move your big ass all the way around, throwing big throwing big heavy hard shots consistently over and over and over and over that's where you need to be repetition is the mother of skill you know what i'm saying so you need to get the reps up to get your endurance up you need to do reps to build your endurance because i don't care what ronnie shields do for you via skill if he don't get your endurance up you ain't gonna be shit so cut the cap in my comment section. Cut it. It's your boy, DT3, MBBC. MBBC forever. December dedication is here. Salute to you. 100.